guys, I'm Courtney and Jedley, and guess where we're at today? We are at Drift Studios right next to the High Line. It's a beautiful day. Today is Saturday, May 2nd, 2015, and we're at a blogger convention for lovely happenings. This afternoon, I have the opportunity to talk to two of the co-founders, so make sure to stay tuned because we're going to get the dish on what's happening with lovely happenings. lovely Dua Dolls and they are speaking today at the Lovely Happenings Conference. Tell us what we're going to hear from you guys today. We are so excited to be here and share. We have some really exciting tips for spring, summer, versatile pieces. Yes, and then we're talking about beauty and we're doing some of our top beauty products today. And of course, they are extremely fashionable and you guys are talking about how to take one piece and actually make it versatile for different seasons. And of course, how to save your money, because we all love to shop, right? Yes, absolutely. Shop and save money. Maximizing your wardrobe. We believe in buy less, choose well. And that's what we'll be touching on today. A list of many of so I'm here with Casey Black, your designer and obviously artist, because this is stunning. Now, this comes from your inspiration through paintings, or what? Tell us a little bit about your design. Yeah, I start each season with my artwork, so they're all watercolor gouache paintings. And that's how everything starts. This was a dark fairy tale collection, so this was painted in a lake in the woods, is what this is from. Uh, so yeah, and then I have it all printed on fabric, and then everything is made in the garment district in New York. So, so And you don't just do clothes. What else do you do? Um, so I just ventured into doing some more accessories like sweatshirts, like easier throw on pieces for a little bit uh, more like easy price point. So my ladies that buy these, the regular collection will just throw those in as well so they can just throw on a sweatshirt and go run errands and do whatever. Where can we find all of these amazing clothes? If they're not at the conference today, where can they get your stuff? Um, they can go online at caseyblack.com. I have an online store, and um, I'm always doing trunk shows around, so with different stores and myself. So, yeah, you can contact me directly too. I'm here with Lisa Rosado. Tell me a little bit about your booth. It's absolutely beautiful, and I see this little black dress here. What is that about? Thank you. So yeah, I'm a fashion and beauty blogger, and today I wanted to show people how to get the most wear out of their little black dresses. Okay. So a couple of really cool tips are utilizing the tops and the bottoms as tops and bottoms. Okay. So you can go ahead and layer with like a crop top to use the bottom as a skirt. And then you can also put a skirt, a skater skirt over it to utilize it as a top, especially if you have like a cool back detail. Oh my gosh, so, so fun. Yeah, another cool little tips like that, so. So it's kind of a two for one. Exactly. It's not just the little black dress. Exactly. Amazing, and I see your outfit here. Who are you wearing? I'm wearing H&M, and then this top is handmade by Cut From The Same Cloth, which is an amazing designer that you can find on Etsy. I'm here with Missy Solon. I happen upon your table. It's a tie-dye frenzy. Tell us a little bit about what you're doing here. I have a brand called Dye Girl, where I make hand-dyed yoga mat bags and other goods. And which we see over here. Yes, which we see here. And it's based around the active and yoga lifestyle. Okay. So that's, hence the yoga bag. Are you a yogi yourself? Yes, I am. <laughs> you're actually doing demonstrations here, is that right? Yes, I'm doing today a marbling demonstration where I take the dye and I float it on top of a bath of water that's been altered with some chemicals. And I take a piece of fabric or paper and I lay it down and I create prints. And it's part of what inspired me to make my collection because of all of the different colors and shapes and things that you can do on them. Now, where can we find your clothes? I, I presume you have a website online? Yes, it's called diegirl, D-Y-E-G-R-L, dot com. I'm here with Bridget McCann. Now, you are a fitness guru. Tell us a little bit about what we have here and what you do. Yeah, sure. Um, so today I'm making protein smoothies. Um, these have fresh fruits, protein powder, um, almond milk, and coconut water. Um, and the, the reason that I put protein powder in these, I made them super sweet so they're still really tasty, but protein powder is really good for you post-workout. Even if you're not a guy trying to bulk up or anything like that, girls should drink protein powder too. It's good to rebuild your muscles and help you to be strong um, and lean. Right, and I 
we see so many girls out there in you know, the fashion world that tend to be really real thin, and this is definitely something that you encourage in your plight. Now, obviously, you do, you said you mentioned uh, that you do yoga and you love to exercise and you're getting your certification and personal training. Um, you know, what piece of advice would you give girls out there that are really focused on fashion and being thin and looking the part? Yeah, absolutely. Um, I have a heart for girls who, who have like sort of starvation diets and just really think that they have to eat nothing or just eat salads all the time to be thin. And that's just not true. You can eat a lot of food um, and, and maintain muscle and be thin and look great. Um, and it's just kind of about choosing the right foods and nourishing your body with what it needs. Well, cheers. <laughs> cheers. So I'm here with one of my besties and favorite bloggers from Madly Mignon. This is Kate Niss, or as we like to say, Kate Warman. That's her real name. Anyway, we have some clothes behind us. I've seen you wear these clothes before. You're obviously very stylish. Tell us a little bit about your blog, what you do, and what we see behind us. Okay, so my blog is Madly Mignon. Mignon, if you guys don't know, is a wor French word for cute. So basically it means madly cute. Um, that came about because I am, I'm obsessed with all things French. And I used to live in Paris while well, I studied abroad there. And I spoke French in college or studied it and basically became obsessed with French culture, fashion, everything. So today I'm going to actually talk at the lovely happenings event about from runway to real way. So how to translate the runway looks into your own wardrobe. A uh, luxury high-end retailer. Wee <laughs> wee. Oui, oui. Anyway, okay, let's, see, let's see the clothes you brought here. I see a couple trends here. You've got yeah. fringe. This is a big trend right now, guys. So first off, we have the 70s. So that's really inspired right now. So obviously, you have your fringe. This is really 70s. And it's a vintage fringe vest. Um, you can throw this over anything to make it a little 70s. This is my favorite fringe suede jacket. Suede being another huge trend. Where did you get these pieces? Because I like to purchase them myself. Yeah, this is from Zara. This was last year, but I'm sure they have something similar. Um, not that expensive. This was vintage. I mean, Buffalo Exchange, yeah. So you're all about high to low fashion I'm seeing oh, yeah, here. Definitely, that's the whole thing about this. You wanna see the runways and figure out how to translate it so you can wear it every day. What pieces do you look for? How do you know which ones are gonna stick around? Well, honestly, you I would only splurge on the pieces that you know are going to be classic. So a basic leather jacket. I mean, that's going to be a staple from season to season. You can wear that forever. Um, a white button-up, some amazing jeans, um, a Manila Blahnik pump. I mean, that's my splurge piece. I mean, that's always going to stay in style. So I would never spend too much money on a piece that's very fashion-driven. Okay. You can get those at other stores or vintage stores for a lot less money. Amazing. Well, thanks so much, Kate. Kate Ness. Make sure to follow her on Instagram. She has an unbelievable stream going on. She's always fashionable, and she's always French-inspired. So I'm here with Jacqueline Fisher and Rachel Grayson. They are the co-founders of Lovely Happenings today. Now, I'm so excited for this event. We're basically at a blogger convention. Tell us a little bit about how this whole idea came about. Well, I would have to say it started about two years ago when she got married. And in the process for all the wedding planning on my end for her shower and her end for her wedding, we got very into Pinterest and DIY and crafting, everything like that. And we didn't realize we loved it so much. And that's how we realized and we basically we we always knew we wanted to start something together. We both work in fashion. We still work full time doing that. But we kind of came up with this idea. We're like, you know, everything's all about Pinterest and all about blogs, but how can you bring that to life more and like have a place where you can actually do these things that inspire you and that you know, you want to learn that recipe, you could do it right here. You want to make a flower crown, you could do it. It's just a place that you can actually get out and do these things. So I've actually been to a convention, conference type thing before with Simply Stylist. But what makes it different here at Lovely Happenings? I know you, you mentioned it's very hands-on, but what is it about this particular convention that would draw um, a blogger or somebody interested in the DIY space? So the difference in our audience and our goal would be uh, something like Simply Stylist is where they teach you how to become a blogger and grow your business, whereas our event is taking these bloggers and business owners and they're teaching you how to actually make the things they're making on the blog and dress the way they're dressing. So 
um, instead of uh, learning how to be a blog blogger yourself, a lot of these girls here are just your average NYC girl that they they pin things on Pinterest. They just want to live a healthier, more beautiful lifestyle, and they don't necessarily want to be a blogger themselves, but they love following blogs. And yeah. that's yeah, it's literally our audience. It's not really. There might be people here that want to be bloggers or who are starting out as bloggers and trying to get inspiration, but it's really just for that everyday girl who loves to read that blog on her lunch break every day and, you know, just a place for her to come and do all these things. And, you know, we also have vendors and other things you can purchase. It's, you know, we're trying to have every aspect of lifestyle you can have here. This is your first conference, right? So when do we expect another one and how can other people be a part of it? We are expecting to have our next event in the fall, also in New York City. And if you stay tuned on, um, on our website, lovelyhappenings.com, uh, we're going to keep you up to date with all of the information for our next event. And in the future, we hope to spread to different cities as well and hold the same events. That is so cool. Well, thanks so much. We look forward to seeing you guys. You guys are going to be talking a little bit about um, your blogs in particular, correct? And you're going to have the opportunity to let other bloggers talk about their brands and what they're doing and what makes them so unique, correct? In the speaker room, all throughout the day, we're going to have a bunch of different bloggers. So fashion, not even all bloggers. My wedding planner is coming to talk. So just everything. So starting at 12, we have throughout the day, everyone can pop in that room and just listen and find out about fashion, interiors, everything. Well, make sure to stay tuned at lovelyhappenings.com. And then, of course, on their Facebook, their Twitter, Instagram pages. And make sure you guys are a part of the next one.